Good morning children. Today I am going to continue with the poem, The Bird's Lesson, written by George MacDonald. In the previous class, we have studied about the description of the bird and its sweet, melodious song that it sang, a sang. Now, please pay attention while I read and explain the remaining stanza. Papa, dear little Gracie, said, We can this birdie be. If I could only sing like that, I did sit where folks could see. Now, when Papa, when Gracie heard the sweet, melodious song of the bird while she was passing by from that place with her father, she asked her father, Where can this bird be? This bird has such a sweet, melodious and beautiful voice. Why can't it come? Why, it, why is it not showing itself? Why is it hiding itself? Why is it invisible? Then Gracie thought to herself and then told her father that Papa, if I had such a sweet voice, I would have rather sat at a place where people would have observed me, would have looked at me, and would have appreciated my song. I hope my little girl will learn a lesson from the bird and try to do what good that uh, what good she can, not to be seen or heard. And meanwhile, at that time, her father, Gracie's father, explains and tells Gracie and oh, gives her a lesson of that bird. As she was a small child and she was growing up, so her father wanted to teach her a lesson from that bird. Now the lesson was that that small bird was entertaining people but without being seen. It was passer, all the passers by were going, were passing by, but it was entertaining the, as they heard the sweet sound, sweet and melodious tune of that bird, they started searching for that bird, they started observing for that bird, where is that bird, where is it hidden, what is that sweet tune coming from, or where, where is it coming from. But somewhat if we see that that bird was entertaining all the passers-by with its sweet voice. Similarly, our deeds and action or whatever we do should also, if we help someone, we should not expect anything in return from anyone. We should help everyone with a clean heart and do not expect anything or we shouldn't go and say I am so and so person or I am this person and that person. We shouldn't say that. We should do kind deeds. Similarly, if you see, God has given us this beautiful nature. But we are so engrossed in our day-to-day -day life that we do not admire the beauty of nature. Nature provides us with lots of things. It has a lot of things with us. It is giving us a lot of things. The oxygen that we breathe, it is coming from trees. The carbon, uh, carbon dioxide that we exhale, it is the tree that is using it. So there are so many things that nature is providing us and all these things are done by whom? It's, it's a gift of God. So it's somewhat, some kind of kind deed that God is also doing upon us. So the bird was singing praise to God for whatever, uh, whatever deeds she was doing. Similarly, her father told Gracie, so next, uh, whenever you do any kind deeds, it's not necessary that you need to be her noticed or you need to be heard. So children, I'll explain the remaining poem in the next chapter, in the next class. Until then, thank you.